All right, this is part three, wiring the uh, breaker panel on the 50 amp conversion in my Winnebago Adventure. So if you look here, this is the old setup. Kind of hard to see, but um, the first two breakers, if I can get it to focus. Uh, first one there was AC1 main. AC2, then they went to refrigerator, microwave, receptacles 1, 2, and 3, washer and dryer, and then the heater. Now, this is the way it's currently wired. I took the um, AC2 wire, which used to run right out of this corner here, plugged into AC2 on the 20 amp circuit. That's now removed. And I rerouted it over here to this compartment and put a receptacle plug. And that's because in the power compartment where you plug in at the transfer switch, I put a male in so I can plug an extension cord in right there and run something inside here uh, not connected to the camper. I usually run a um, AC unit when it's parked. Uh, to keep the camper cool uh, while it's here in my yard and I don't want to run it through the camper electrical system. Anyway, um, so that'll be plugged into that socket there once I finish up. Uh, the new power comes in, it's the six gauge. You got your hot one, hot two. They plug into each side of the 50 amp breaker. AC one, still plugged in from right here plugs in here to AC1 the old main wire the 10 gauge wire that used to be the main power supply is now right here this is AC2 where I've tied it together in the back um, that got changed I had to remove I didn't get a good picture of it but the old neutral from the main used to run right through here this is how your EMS system reads how many amps you're drawing. So that got removed and it's now plugged in right here into an empty spot on the neutral bar. My new 6 gauge neutral now runs through there and plugs in where the old uh, 10 gauge uh, wire used to run through. So now this will read all amps drawn. Uh, ground wire <laughs> comes in plugs in right here next to the main ground for the camper uh, didn't change anything else there I now have a spare breaker which is right here number 20 this used to be AC2 which is now connected here I did have a uh, vacant spot in the old setup right there so I shifted all my breakers to the right and was able to add this double pole 50 amp breaker but it gave me a spare breaker right here so I'm just leaving that in the off position in the future if I ever want to run something else I can hook in there and run it and I have a spare breaker now anyway all the other things stayed the same I did consider reconfiguring some of the wires so I could split the load up evenly but seems to be pretty even as it is now and I'll give it a run also don't forget you got to remove the um, 10 gauge wire which is right here I'm sorry this is 6 gauge wire this used to go across both bus bars right here and now you have to remove that because one of your leads feeds this side one of your hots feeds this side, the other hot feeds the bottom side. If you leave this connected, not going to be good. You're going to be pushing 240 volts through your system. So this is how you keep it separated. Each leg gets its own 120 volt source. And every other breaker feeds off one side. So this bus bar feeds this breaker, which is AC2. And um, receptacles 2 and 3 and the washer, dryer, and heater. And line two now feeds AC1, the uh, refrigerator, 
and uh, microwave. I'm sorry, microwave and refrigerator, yeah. And then the other receptacles. Either way, splits it up. Hope that helps. If anybody else is doing the conversion. Uh, took a little bit of time. Probably about four hours total between the transfer switch and this to do the wiring. Another two hours on running the wire. Six gauge wire here through the camper. So a total of about six, six to eight hours to do the full wiring. Good luck.